made in their compound in total darkness like holding each other's hands and they would be in this circle and they would be talking like the saying out this mantra like reciting this mantra you would just see a voices of blah, 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 blah. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those who are new, my name is Lisa. I do story times, I do girl talks, I do vlogs, I do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So if those are things that excite you, don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button and join the family. It's a family here. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It motivates me to create more interesting videos for you guys and to clearly get in the YouTube algorithm because I ain't playing with you. I'm trying to grow this family. I'm trying to grow these subscribers. Help me grow. Help a girl grow. And if it's not your first time to watch me and you still haven't subscribed, like, girl, you're clearly playing games. Like, at this point, you're clearly playing games. Like, go ahead and subscribe just subscribe it ain't that hard guys as you can see from the title things are about to get a little bit freaky a little bit scary in here so you might as well want to get comfortable grab your blanket grab your drink grab your snacks or anything that's gonna make you comfortable for this day for this joys for this so let's not waste time let's get right into this video so boom let me give you a clear picture of how this school was right so my school was built on a hill like an isolated hill out in the wilderness i say wilderness because there were no surrounding residential areas and to access the road you had to walk a very long distance like it was isolated completely isolated you could hardly see any houses you could hardly you could hardly see any like cars passing by there were no roads like it was completely out there in the wilderness the only thing you could see were trees and maybe monkeys and some wild wild animals right so we were just out there out there basically disclaimer this story is going to be a little bit disturbing it's going to be a little bit scary so if you're scared of ghosts if you're scared of stuff like that you may as well want to mm, click off and maybe go watch some other story times of mine and if you're one person who doesn't believe in ghosts please please don't think i'm lying don't come for people who believe in them i personally i don't even know if i believe in them but this is just my story and i'm just telling it the way it is so don't come for me or try to you know just don't so when i joined this school right we had a headmistress and this lady was old she was the sweetest old lady i have ever met she was so sweet she was uh, parental she was loving like she was just a sweet lady right but for some reason i think her time her time of service had got done and she had to like go to some other school and you know work for some other school and we had to get a new headmistress right and of course we were sad because she was a sweet lady and we didn't want her to go but what could we do so they brought in this new headmistress right and guys the moment this new headmistress came in <laughs> rumors just began going around school like everything the atmosphere of the school everything just got weird like we used to hear rumors that this lady was apparently apparently a devil worshiper like she worshiped satan and you know there are all these weird weird stories going around and everything just started you know seeming weird people used to get possessed like you would just be in class and all of a sudden someone would just fall down and you know begin screaming talking about the devil is here you know screaming just weird weird stuff you know and there are also cases where kids began getting this weird disease like i don't know if i should call it a disease but it was some sort of a disorder like we used to call it calypso basically the kids wouldn't move 
straight like their walking ability changed like instead of moving like you know that normal moving they would basically move while breaking like their legs would break i i think i should demonstrate for you guys that's how those kids were moving i know it's weird but <laughs> that's just and it became rampant like it started with one kid it started with one student and then it got to the second student the third student like then it began spreading like it was a number of students that began getting this weird disease right so everyone is worried like you know you just wake up one day and you find yourself moving like that and you don't even know why it happened you don't like guys stuff was just weird around this school everything was just weird now there's also this group of girls that openly admitted to be devil worshippers like it was like a clique of like five girls and these girls openly admitted to worship the devil these girls would meet at weird hours i'm talking about 3 a.m in the night no in the morning in the morning pardon me 3 a.m in the morning like you know our school schools down here in uganda most of them the toilets are actually outside so at times when we would wake up like late in the night in case you wanted to use the washroom you would find these girls outside in the compound in total darkness like holding each other's hands and they would be in this circle and they would be talking like this saying out this mantra like reciting this mantra you would just hear voices of blah, 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 blah. and guys it was the most scary shit ever like we began dreading going out in the night to use the toilet if you felt like going you might as well just hold your peace till morning otherwise you'll be in for <laughs> you'll be in for tra a traumatic experience like this shit was scary this shit was scary i'm not even going to lie to you guys and these girls were open about it like the funny thing is that they used not to hide themselves like they openly used to tell us they are devil worshippers and late in the night they go they meet and they told us like they used to say you would see their bodies there but their souls weren't there like they claimed i don't know how true that was but they claimed that they claimed that they would meet underground like down underground in the sea like they would meet with all these celebrities and <laughs> i really don't know <laughs> i really don't know if these guys were lying i don't know if they were just playing on our minds but they would tell us they would meet underground with all these celebrities i won't mention names because these are actually celebrated big people so i can't just say out their names but these girls would say that when they go underground like they meet all these celebrities there and they always have these meetings with saturn and you know they get their powers and all that and they used to ask us like if you want to be initiated like if you want to join like you can just tell us and when we are going to meet we can just call you and we go there your soul will be taken and you'll be initiated you know all this creepy creepy stuff and guys i don't know for some reason the environment just got weird and weird and weird like i personally are uh, scared like i uh, scared of these girls like each time i would move on the compound and i happen to bump into one i would make sure i turn around and just like i didn't want to make it seem so obvious that i was avoiding them but i just made sure my parts don't like collide with these girls because i they scared the hell out of me like i was just so scared and all these stories that i used to hear and the headmistress now this clique of girls and now all the students that are having this weird disease you know everything was just creepy like oh fast forward it was this one day we were in class right i don't know what we were doing but at this point the rumors had become so so like too much like there were so many and it had become concerning like actually teachers had begun having meetings like holding meetings about this entire situation that's how bad the situation had got like that's how intense the rumors had become so on this day i think we were in class i think there was no teacher because the teachers were holding a meeting right and out of the blue we had 
a group of people screaming like people screaming students screaming and coming out of classes like you know it was different classes so students were coming out of different classes different classes so of course my class also stood up and we went outside to see what the commotion was about and it so happened this one girl that had got possessed during class and you know she was saying i don't know if she was possessed by the holy spirit at this point i couldn't tell was she possessed by the holy spirit or was she possessed by satan because she was saying don't eat lunch today because the lunch today is going to be she was saying don't eat lunch today the lunch today is going to have like bloody needs guys i don't know if i'm allowed to say this on youtube like that i don't know if i'm allowed to say blood on youtube anywho she was like don't eat no one should have lunch today like the lunch they have prepared today is going to have this bloody needs and if you eat it you're automatically going to be you know initiated and all that so there's all this commotion and <laughs> everyone was worried everyone was screaming like we were all coming out of classes like it was just total disorganization right so you know the kids are striking we are striking everyone is like no we are tired of this situation like we like we need a new headmistress this is not right we are scared for our lives right and before we knew it <laughs> this same girl like at that point the headmistress wasn't in school right she i don't know where she was but she wasn't in school it was just teachers and students so all of a sudden this one girl said the devil is at the gate the devil is at the gate she's coming in and guys to look the headmistress's car was coming inside the school like <laughs> it was like she predicted that the headmistress was actually coming inside school right so she was shouting the devil the devil has arrived the devil is here so we saw the headmistress's car coming in and we are like okay okay and guys this just proved to us that there were like something was just not right like you know everything was just not right now before we knew it the police had come that's how you know the situation was serious the police had come the newspaper like newspaper anchors had come and you know they came they tried to cool down the situation because you know students had become wild like we had all become violent and do you blame us though like we are scared for our lives we, we were living in fear we are living in trauma like we were traumatized everything was just weird and so the police came and tried to calm us down you know they tried to talk to us and they were telling us don't listen to rumors just go and have lunch but baby baby no one was no one was going to have that lunch i don't care which language they used to talk to us to convince us to have that lunch we all refused to have that lunch and <laughs> if i tell you i'm telling you we starved we stopped that day no one was willing to go have lunch because how can you like really how can you go have lunch after being told there was something in that food like you just couldn't like it just wasn't happening so that night they called pastors and we had to pray like the whole school had to go in prayer mood we started praying we started praying like to attend those prayers like we were there praying 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 so after prayers were prayers we had to go back to the dormitories right so we are moving we are moving we are moving to the dormitory <laughs> guys our dormitories were built in like rooms like small small cubicles right tell me why as we approach our cubicle why do we see this big black cat sitting on my friend's bed with its eyes wide open just staring at us like guys like that was the breaking point that was the breaking point i just knew i wasn't going back there in that cubicle my friend lost her mind i lost my mind we are screaming running out of the dormitory like everyone is asking us what is wrong what is wrong we are out of breath we can't even tell them so when we got out and we caught our breath we told them guys there is a big black cat on her bed like on my friend's bed and you know everyone is scared to go in and you know chase it out because no one wants to up <laughs> at this point everyone is scared for their lives like no one wants to go and you know get it out and 
after a long commotion like after a long time of everyone being there like not knowing what to do we gathered the confidence we got this big stick and we we're like let's go and just chase it out right so we go in there and guys tell me why when we went back in the cat wasn't there like it had disappeared and we don't know where to i'm not kidding guys i saw that cat we saw that cat but for some reason when we went back in there to chase it out the cat had disappeared and you can't tell me that it went through the window because the windows were closed so we are thinking maybe it's under the bed or it's you know we are trying to think where this cat might have gone and we are looking everywhere the cat is not there so i don't know everything was just so weird just so weird and the following day the police came back and the news anchors were there and they sent everyone home and it was bad because i was actually in my final year like as a candidate and i had to sit for my final exams but <sighs> the school was closed for some time and we just came back to do our exams right and when we came back for exams we were actually told that one student had passed on like one of the students who had got that weird disease she had actually passed on rip to her and guys i did my exams but the entire time i just wanted to get done and leave this school and be completely done with this school because i concluded that this school was haunted this school was haunted you couldn't tell me otherwise like all the occasions that had happened all the weird things like everything was just pointing to haunted like this school was haunted and there's no way you could convince me to ever return for my advanced education like no as going and as leaving this school for good and i even told my dad daddy i'm not going back to that school i'm not going back to that school i don't care how good it is i don't care how much you love it because my dad was obsessed with this school my dad kept saying this is a good school and you know it molds you into that uh, being a good lady and you know but mm -mm, not with all these stories not with all these creepy creepy things happening so when i got done with my exams i pissed out and i was actually happy that i was out of there oh my god that was one hell of an experience i actually have more horror stories from this school and from my primary school and from my childhood so if you would want to see more of those tell me in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up it motivates me to create more and more interesting stories for you don't forget to share this video with all your loved ones the people you care about your friends your family you know just spread it spread the gospel spread the tea and i'm sorry if it creeped you out but i just had to keep it real with you like this shit is real and it's happened and i promise i'm not faking it anyways guys that brings us to the end of this video i love you all till next time peace and love bye